So someone wrote in and said, my question is, say my partner asks me to meet a need for them, which is difficult for me. How do I know if, if this is difficult, but worthy um, of me leveling up and becoming a better version of myself, or if I'm trespassing on inner sacred ground and giving up parts of myself that made me attracted in the first place? Is there any way to know in advance? Holy moly, this is a great question. It really is. Welcome to Deep Video Thoughts with Kathy Bartuli from the Intimacy Dojo. And Reed Mahako from ReadAboutSex.com. Wow, wow. Good. Keep sending us questions like wow. this. Yeah. Like all of them. Even the shallow ones, we love them. We just want to hear from you. Are you shallow? Are you questioning Shane? How are we doing? Is things okay? <laughs> all right. Um, okay, so, well, you go for it. Um, I think part of that is tuning in, checking. And you might ask, you might even tell your partner, hey, I'm not sure about this one. I need, I'm willing to try um, and take it slow. I'm open to, ch I may need to change my mind. Or, you know, saying no and then giving it a try anyway sometimes is okay. But not, I mean, you don't mean to say, say no and then and your partner cross is, your own boundaries. No, I'm saying maybe I'm not certain if this crosses my boundaries or not, but I tell my partner, I'm not there for you to re meet this need and you probably need to mm -hmm. find someone else. But that doesn't mean I can't also try and experiment. Okay. Like I'm telling them, hey, yeah. I don't think this is for me, but it doesn't mean I can't just explore it and okay. try it. All right. The way I would break it down first is if you're maybe always say no, and no isn't always a no forever. Like just start there because that'll give you some room mm -hmm. to be like, all right, let me let me check it, it out. Date people and be in relationships with people, ideally, that can handle you being a no. Mm -hmm. And the and see the wisdom in, oh, if you're a maybe, we should not do it. And kind of take a check-in. Mm -hmm. Understanding that if you don't know around this question, like if you're giving, if you're crossing some sort of internal mm -hmm. boundary and you're giving up something about yourself, um, then I think exploring anything new, especially when you're... Uh, with different than I really want to try this even if it doesn't end well mm -hmm. I want to try this yeah you can, right? you can ask your partner hey I don't know can we can we explore yeah. so there's different there's different like gradations of ah if you're gonna try something and you're like a, in the ah place then put a time limit or uh we're gonna try this a couple of times or we're gonna try it once and then I'm gonna think about it mm -hmm. and process maybe we'll try it again or in some, in a, in a non, uh, event kind of way. Like, mm -hmm. let's say we're going to, we're going to try this sexual thing a couple of times to see if I like it. Then there's a, like, we're going to open up our relationship mm -hmm. to see if I can handle it. Yeah. Like there's a time limit. Like, mm -hmm. let's try this. Let's take baby steps. General rule, slower and less like baby steps almost always better mm -hmm. in almost every situation than skydiving because you kind of can't do baby steps with skydiving you're either in the plane or you're out of the plane said from a major skydiver i've never skydived before skydove what's the past blue perfect of skydive but um, if you in business <clears throat> anyway jump off cliffs oh but that's because my risk tolerance is different mm. than a lot of people um so again like even Baby steps with a time limit for, for exploration mm -hmm. and room for people like to process. Super useful because a lot of people's reptile brains, how they figure things out is they think of worst case scenario and they think it's going to be forever. Mm -hmm. Like that's just how your, your, your uh, fight and flight brain works. Mm -hmm. So combat that or, or front load for it to be like, okay, uh, this is not a forever situation. We have a time limit. Um, and baby step makes it not the worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. And on, and the self-awareness of, oh, I'm going or my partner is going to worst case scenario and things last forever. So we never get this. Once the ball gets rolling, it never stops. Know that people do that and, and go and take those baby steps into it. And, and when in doubt, stop everything and regroup. Mm -hmm. Those are those are good baseline approaches I think and they've worked well for me I know that sometimes comfort zones will mask themselves or you know kind of hide as oh this is a boundary this is who you are 
Um, so I do like trying things out and actually experiencing them. I learn a lot about myself. And it may be that I get it very clear that I'm a no to ever doing it again. But by trying it, it helps me step outside my comfort zone and look at it and get clarity. Whereas, I mean, sometimes my first, I tend to be shyer and I don't like to do new things as much as like you do. You know, different people have different expressions. So my first inclination, my thought in my head is, no, this is going to be horrible, does not necessarily for me mean that it actually will be horrible or that it's violating a boundary of who I am. So I think as you get to know yourself and you try some of these things around smaller things, for example, you start to learn how your brain responds. And like my brain, if someone says something new, my first thought is, no, let's do what we know is good. But then I can go, okay, deep breath. It might be worth, is it worth trying this one mm -hmm. time or setting setting a limit? Okay, well, let's try this for five minutes. And if I hate it, we're going to stop. Mm -hmm. Other things to do, um, have a uh, hire a professional listener to be able to work out and process stuff mm -hmm. around it. Have several conversations before you ever do the thing. Mm -hmm. um, a safe opening, word to get out. Uh, safe word is always good. Um, opening up a conversation is not does not equal agreeing to do it. Mm -hmm. So you can talk about stuff and never have to do it. And then the last thing I'll add into here is it is great to try things and then discover you don't like them. So that is a win-win too. Mm -hmm. Even if your partner really wanted you to like it and they're really disappointed that you don't. Yeah. It's still a win-win because you tried things and you got clarity. And it is okay also just to know something isn't right for you and just be a no at yeah, up front. Absolutely. You're not unevolved because you never want to try that skydiving thing. It's totally fine. <laughs> Why jump out of a perfectly good plane? <laughs> Comments. What do you think? Yeah. Next video. Thanks for tuning in, Sex Geek. If you would like to continue with the brain sex, do me a favor and click subscribe right here. If you'd like to watch me on social media, that's where you're going to go. Next video, maybe? And if you really would like your own Sex Geek t-shirt, please click right here, right now. No, no, really, like, 